Hello, my name is Lisa. I'm with Golden Inn District Search and Rescue, and I'm here today with Mountain Sledder to talk about upper arm injuries, such as a broken clavicle or a shoulder dislocation. A uh, shoulder dislocation or broken clavicle is likely in the mountain sled environment uh, because of collisions with trees, abrupt stops on your sled, um, flying off your sled with arms outstretched. A number of different scenarios could cause these injuries. A clavicle fracture or a shoulder dislocation or even separation can be an issue in the backcountry setting due to a lack of mobility, a lack of strength in the arm, a high level of pain, and the possibility that a broken clavicle could also involve a lung injury, which would become quite serious in a hurry. The first thing you want to do is get an overall idea of what happened to your patient. Make sure there's no involvement with a head injury. Make sure their neck and back don't hurt. Make sure they can breathe well and they've got good circulation below the injury site. You can assess this by having them take a deep breath for you. Does that hurt? Is that easy to do? When I've determined what the injury is, I'm going to expose and examine the injury site. I'm going to look for obvious deformities, swelling, um, and I'm going to compare both sides to see if there's any differences between the two. Get in, you can cut the shirt if you need to, and you're going to feel on both collarbones. Um, you can maybe feel uh, something raised on one side or one side will hurt more than the other. Uh, and you can expose the shoulders and look for differences between the sore shoulder and the uninjured shoulder. If you find that a bone has broken through the skin, the limb has decreased circulation, uh, numbness, tingling, no feeling. Uh, or if you have found that there is a deadly bleed, this is the time to call for outside help. This has become an emergency situation. Now we're going to splint the in injury um, in a position of comfort for the patient. So the idea is to get it stabilized and keep it from moving around too much so it doesn't hurt too much. With me, I have two triangular bandages. You can find in the drugstore. When you get your triangular, you're going to find the middle point that will go to the elbow joint, point to joint. And then one part of the triangular will go close to the chest and the other will go around and tie behind the neck. So let me come under here. Tell me when it feels like you've got enough support. Yeah, feels pretty good. With my second triangular, I'm going to wrap it around the chest to hold the patient's injured arm to the chest and decrease the amount of bouncing around to help with pain. Now we need to get this patient to a hospital. So depending on what arm it is and what kind of terrain you're in, potentially someone with a dislocated shoulder or fractured collarbone could ride their sled out. Uh, or a friend could double them on their sled. Uh, absolute worst case scenario, you could walk out. Uh, and of course, as always, search and rescue is an option by calling 911.